Hey there, I'm Heidi Swap, and I'm here today to talk about my new cinch. I love it, super cute, but what does it do, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you. So, what I have available right now is some of these We Are Memory Keepers cinch kits. What's really cool about these is it comes with the covers and the insides and even some embellishments to make albums. So here's an example of a cinched album that I made where I used some of these gold clear embellishments and also some of the stuff, other stuff that I had on hand. So that's the beauty of it. I want to show you how easy it is to put together. So this particular kit, and I'll, and I'll kind of show you the end result of this one, really cute 4x4 Instagram sized album. So this kit comes with two canvas covers, two chipboard covers, a stack of printed and foiled papers, and a stack of clear foiled um, little inserts or pages. So all you have to do is decide what you want on the inside and then punch it and bind it. So these kits are also really great because they come with the coils. So I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. The first thing I'm going to do is choose some pages that I want to add to my book. All right, I'll set those aside. I'm also going to add a couple of these clear pieces. And I like to put the clear pieces inside. All right, the cinch from this side of the cinch is how it punches the holes. And I'm going to peel about half of these out, stick them in, and this will punch the holes perfectly. All right, those are all punched. I'm going to punch my entire stack. All right, so now my pages are punched. And now I'm going to, maybe I'll do a chipboard cover for the back and a canvas cover for the front. Okay, now the side of the cinch right here is a great place to put your coils as you add pages to your album. So the first thing you do is put these on in the order that you want them to be in your album. So I'm going to choose, kind of rearrange them. You start from the back and work your way forward. All right, once you have your, all your pages in, then you're going to put the front of your album on next and then the back of your album. That goes very last. Okay, so now I've got them all in the coils. I'm going to dial this to three quarters inch. You have, to <laughs> you have to press it down to turn. Then I'm going to place the coil right into the back of the machine so that the edge of the coils are right up against the back wall of the machine. All right, and that's all it takes. <laughs> 